Hello everybody, welcome back to the show. Yes, we're back in the pot and shed today because it's all about tomatoes. And this is the kind of time now, coming up now, you know, from now, say through to, through to kind of April, this month of March is kind of tomato sowing time. So this video is just to kind of get you prepped, ready for that. Not to say sow your seeds straight away. I'm going to do some and give you the chance as well to get them later on down the line but i just want to kind of talk about what i'm going to do what my methods are and some of the things that just kind of to, to look out for as well and i'll put a link as well because there was thompson and morgan did like a little feature and i was one of the kind of lucky enough one of the the people that they featured in their blog post and one of the videos so my intention this year is to kind of get as many <laughs> tomatoes in that polytunnel as I can. Do you know what I mean? I've discovered a couple of new ones and I'm overwhelmed with them. Do you know what I mean? And we're talking about Brad's Atomic Grape. That's the, the, the tomato for me that's kind of blown us away. And if, you if I mentioned a couple, of, a couple of shows ago, Jonathan has kindly offered to kind of do some grafted tomatoes as well so we're going to do them as well but what i want to do and a big congrats as well because these are my modification trays what i want to do is sow some tomato seeds in there and bring them on and as plug plants and sell them later on down the line so if you would like that there'd be a link just to keep you informed and to kind of watch you over the time i'll take pictures and everything like that to be like a little like update on brad's atomic grape because i grew them last year and i only had i think two plants that i kind of you know i thought well i'll try them put two plants the flavour was absolutely gorgeous. Yes, they're a quirky plant, and I think, or a quirky fruit, and I think if it had more sun, they would even become more, like with these vibrant colours, and the colours are just extraordinary. But we're in the northeast of England, they're, they're ripen, but they don't go like this crazy, mottled, fancy, neon, futuristic looking colour. But the flavour was just out of this world. It's not to this tent of like I say a sun gold sweet sweet cherry tomato it's got a bit of a tang there to it but that's exactly what I love and like I say these tomato seeds were just fantastic so let's come along and I'll show you what I'm intending to do with the modifications these are the trays congratulations to Sean Kirkup and Jane Hurst who won the improved modificated trays there that competition's now ended as well. So this is what I'm going to do. So I'm using Jack's Magic Compost. That's this year. That's my preferred compost. And what I'm going to do is hopefully sow two si seeds in each one of these Brad's Atomic Grape. And it'd be nice, just like I say, for other folks to, to try this, this tomato, because I don't think you can kind of get the seeds over in the UK, you know? Right, just get this squashed down. So do let us know in the comments what tomatoes use, use have kind of had or discovered or grown this year. Just for a little tip, I'm just trying to get as much, so I'm compacting it right in, just trying to get as much compost in there in the first instance, just so they've got a good kickstart in life. There we go. Right, we'll just get these watered and I'll bring them back. I think we'll come outside and do it because it's actually a gorgeous morning there as well. So there's the two trays already. So these are a 24 cell tray. And what like I say, I'm hoping to do is put two seeds in each one. And hopefully that'll, there's loads of compost in there. Absolutely loads. So hopefully that's a good start for them. So those are the Brad's Atomic, these are the seeds. And like I say, I've got four packs of these to hopefully get enough plants away to give some folks a chance of just growing this remarkable tomato seed 
or tomato or plant right let's get so basically i just want to two holes you could probably put you know to for plug plants you could probably easily just get three seeds in here quite easily but we'll go for two so let us know as well when are you sowing your tomato seeds so these we go and that's the seed there make sure i get every one out So there we go, as you can see, all the little tomatoes tucked away now. What I've also done is done a few more just as precaution spares. And I think we'll go back in the hut there now and finish off. So these two trees will go in to the little incubator propagator. Along with the the two backups. And hopefully seven days time we'll see something of them. So I'll not like say I'll not only be just planting these ones i've also got some unusual ones that i've decided to plant as well and i'll just show you these came through the post from audrey audrey thank you very much these are a yellow pear tomato as well so looking forward to having a little go of them quirky ones but those brad's atomic grape are an absolute beautiful tasting tomato and if you've got the sun a quirky one as well so like i say just sign up there and you'll be notified when uh, you can watch the progression right look after yourselves take good care